All right, sorry about that. We're back. As I recall, I had a ship inbound nearby to help us out, and I don't believe he's here yet. I forgot to include him in the control group, so not sure when he's going to get here, but uh, that's our target. Okay, so I could build a few scavengers. It might be worthwhile to do. Uh, if I go in here, I can shipyard. Let's deploy two silver blades. As scavengers, because that'll be worth a lot. They, and they, since they're cruisers, they don't, um, around the specified location, I can't set their location. Where are you guys going to go? You're idling. Does this mean I can tell you guys where to go? Don't know. Uh oh, we need to stop that right away. What are you building? Building a shipyard, 40%. Go around the military base. Again, that guy is so hurt. They won't be able to puncture his shield, so we're okay. Hopefully this guy stays clear of the military base and starts picking up some of these pods. I'm not sure which pod he's going for, but we're going to trust that he does. Um, let's see if we can get our other one up here. Uh, Challenger. Not sure where he went. Um, he probably, his AI is probably kicked in. Got a core builder over there. Kill it. Okay, so this guy right here is heavily damaged. I should be able to tell him to go to a friendly dock, but I don't know whether there's a friendly dock around here. So. And sometimes the audio just doesn't play. That, that's not you. I mean, that was just, there was no audio of the attack there. So. Where is my other Titan? Is he even nearby? All right, let's, let's find out. We can find out. Uh, let's go up here so we can see what's going on and attack the guys as they come. Yeah, your ships don't automatically attack builders. I don't know why. We'll go here to here, and this guy is patrolling a sector. Get your butt up here. Watch him jump right in on top of the station again. You guys kill that guy. Is he here? I don't think... Okay, this guy centered the camera on him. Yeah, he's... Elsewhere. Go here. I think he's actually going now. Yeah, he's actually going, so... He'll get here in a few minutes. Actually, I should have added that guy to the uh, control group. Let's uh, send the camera on him. Ah, oh, okay, that AI is really annoying. Add to group. You... Patrolling sector. Alright, you have... The, the AI is... Sometimes a little bit sketchy in this game. I feel like I should still be able to give them orders, just like I could my other military ships, but... Um, Alright, the orders appear to be sticking this time, so... Hopefully with him in here, we'll have enough firepower to be able to take this out. 9%. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Whew, that was a lot closer than it should have been, I feel like. He still doesn't have any military, but good grief, he can build these shipbuilders. I think that's what he's using all his parts on, is he's just building builders. 
with his ship parts instead of a military to get me out of this area. And this is one of his capital sectors, so he's obviously interested in holding it. But uh, the way he's doing it is just incorrect. Hey, it's an arrow. All right, where are you on the map? You're now here. You're now there. Okay. Oh, we're getting attacked. Uh, I think they blew it up. I can't believe that behemoth jumped on, on top of the station. And you, you saw, I couldn't even get him away. They just, like, spaz out. Um, when they get low on shields. And you can't you can't control them. I think that could be improved. Uh, I, st I still feel like manual order... Like, it's fine to do that if they're not under manual control. But if you've given them manual orders... They should obey you. I actually had that happen once with... Uh, when I came under attack, I was flying through Nilith territory, actually. And moving through their territory, they just decided to attack me. And I could not disengage my, my forces. I, I actually went into their AI, I disabled their weapons, and they still wouldn't stop spazzing out. They stopped shooting, but they wouldn't stop spazzing out. Uh, they would just sit there and bounce and stuff, and I'd order them to move. I changed their AI. Nothing. I could not get them out of there. Eventually, I just loaded the game, because I... My whole military force just sat there and got wiped out. And at that point, I was like, okay, fine, we'll shoot you know, now. But um, it just continued to devolve. I couldn't get them away. All right, so you need to come up here. Now part of control group one, two. Okay, so with this, we should have enough firepower, I think, to take that out. Um, because we can keep our injured ship in the back. There he is. And he is obeying our orders slightly. Okay, so. The, I'm going to stick this guy back here. And then I'm going to bandbox everybody. Tell them to go up here. And attack. And... Don't spaz out about the fighters. Just kill the station. There you go. Now you can kill the fighters. And now you can come over here and kill this. Now, dock builder. Come over here. Build a military base. And because this is not adjoining any other territory, we should be able to park our military right here. Right next to the warp gate and destroy anything that comes out. Took some damage, but all in all, uh, that was a lot shakier than it needed to be, but not as bad as it could have been. So, what's what's really neat is this sector actually has a colony. So, if we actually look in here, you see it actually gives 100 supply, which we're over that. Okay, so that's not going to help us out any. That's uh, We'd be 436 over, out of 100, so no, no benefit there. But it is going to give us... 2,500 2, taxes per minute, as well as one ship part per minute. And then in addition, we can actually build a shipyard, parts production, and a few other factories. We can't build energy supply here. I don't know why. But, uh, and then we'll also have access to a warp gate. So these are all good things. They aren't going to be, you know, amazing, stellar, super, super awesome. But they are going to be very good for us, I think, in the long run. In particular, we are eventually going to have supply. that We will be able to use those ship parts, or at least be able to replace any losses we take if we start a larger war. And... Is that ours? Yeah. And, um... Because I've seen the supply from some of the other planets be maybe 300 or something like that. And so, eventually, having a stockpile of these, a large stockpile, is going to help us out a lot, because we're going to be able to get uh, expand and do, build a lot of ships for relatively free. So I'd like to start getting those even even as early as I can, even though I don't think I'm going to be able to get supply until I actually engage one of these other factions in, in war. And ideally, actually, it's it's one of these... Um, actually, ideally, it's up in here, but I, I guess I could send a cheapo ship up there and find out. I guess we could do that. Let's, um, let's just build a dinky little transport. Probably not going to get very far. But let's just go here. Go there. 
See what you can see. You'll probably die immediately, but you'll be at least be able to see what's next to that. The AI core does stop sending ships through once you, I think once you take it over, once you have that military base. Um, it's not officially ours yet. It is still an AI core system. But as soon as we build that military base, this is how you claim somebody else's territory, is you actually build your own military base in it. So once that is complete, we will technically own it, even though we have nothing else here. And unclaimed territory uh, can be taken by just building anything there. But um, the military base is required if you want to take over hostile territory. So once that's done, we will be in pretty good shape. We actually have a bit of a military. In fact, if you look at the diplomacy, our military is 400 or so. So we actually have as much military as the entire Titan Corporation. And the independent sector alliance, we have about half. So we could potentially expand into their territory relatively soon. Okay, so... Uh, I did see, okay, the Human Federation has started to move into this sector. I probably will not be able to get there in time. It's already engaged here. You'll notice that there's only one AI core ship there because they wasted them all on me, you dummies. And nine, oh, yep, there, it just flipped. So I probably can't get there in time, which is a shame. But that's okay, we'll go the pirate route, and we'll, we'll go into the pirate sectors, and um, we won't be able to take advantage of the ship parts for a while but what are you doing computer plant okay what are you doing you're not doing anything can you build a shipyard what's the difference between these two one has more hit points they're both the same cost this is probably the one from the common tech and this is probably the one from the human that's probably what it is uh this takes from the military wallet uh, shipyards do so let's go over there and eh, we can get that relatively easily let's go ahead and move some funds over that's right i had to start the game over because i was getting bad audio There is a hotkey in the game. It's uh, the O key, which will select a dock builder without any orders. So that's what I was doing there. He's he's on the all the way down here, I uh, I think, but he'll be on his way relatively quickly, especially since we now own this warp gate. He can um, travel through that warp gate to get here. So now we're starting to get our, our patrols in here, which is also very good. And once we get the shipyard, I think I can tell these guys to go heal. And they'll, they'll repair themselves. I wish he hadn't built a computer plant right next to the warp gate, but he did. Not my choice. I wouldn't have done that. That's a very expensive plant, too. I think that's like 450 Surprised that he's idling because we have additional factories we could build here. Not sure why. There may be something he wants to build that he doesn't have the money for, and that may be why he's idling. But this is great. So there you go. That's a little bit of military combat in Unending Galaxies. Uh, we've had our first conquest, taken our first sector from the AI Corps. And when we come back, we'll expand down through here. I just think it makes sense since we've taken this territory over before we go over here. This will fall relatively quick. It will take longer to build the stations than it will to to to, to kill the, you know, two stations here. But but we'll be able to do that. There'll be a few military stations, so we'll want to beef out this military a little bit. So we'll want to get a little bit more money in our trading wallet before we take that on. Just so we can afford a few more... Um, a few more frigates, possibly a few, or mostly mostly cruisers and battleships. Uh, I don't typically build the frigates myself, but um, uh, we'll want some of the, the cruisers, particularly for the scavenging of the parts. I think that's a great way to get a little bit of extra income out of uh, what you kill. And then the, the battleships and the carriers, actually, the carriers are fantastic. You saw there all their fighters got destroyed, so this, this guy doesn't actually have any uh, fighters in his uh, hangar bay. His ship replacement is set to automatic, but he won't do it unless he can go to a friendly shipyard. So that's what I'm waiting for here is the shipyards. And then these carriers will refill their fighters 
and then we'll be back up to 60 fighters between these two carriers. And uh, the carriers I find are the backbone of any fleet that I that I make. So I'm I'm we'll come back. We'll build more titans and carriers and um, continue to secret our way through the galaxy. Nobody will really pay attention to us as long as we stay in here. We aren't bordering anybody. We're bordering these two carriers. But uh, we aren't bordering anybody when we come in here. We won't own the sectors. We'll just be building an economy that can fund ship parts for when we do get some territory. All right. Well, we'll see you then, folks.